Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Maritime, where today, in honor of their marriage, we fully intend to have a great and wonderful Maritime. How about that? And as we gather here for this marriage event, I want to share some thoughts and sincere feelings that I am confident most of you here today have been feeling. As many here today have learned, as you get older, the days, they may stay long, but the weeks, the months, the years, they will zip by quickly, oh, so quickly. I remember Roman, as you heard last evening, riding and wrecking his first bicycle, throwing his first pitch, making his first two points at a basketball game. I'm certain Courtney's parents remembered her first dance lessons, cheerleading practice, and making it to her first cheerleading squad and then on, as we all know, to the honeybees. Well, with God's grace, we have ended up here today on this joyous occasion. So today, Roman and Courtney, it is a great day. It is the day that the Lord has made. It is the day of your wedding made especially for you two. Let us place it in our memories forever. We will live it only once. It will not come our way again. So today, this day, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Anticipation is killing me. <laughs> I had to type this out because I just like Adam, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> my handwriting's a little messy. They're really, really not. Whoa, yeah. I listened to my word count, I promise. That's not 500 words. Okay, all right. It's fine. Okay. They say, you know when you know. And for me, it's game over. Your love. It's like no other love I've ever felt in my life. You're truly the most remarkable woman I've ever met. Can you just read them? <laughs> you got it. You got okay. it. I'm ready for you. <laughs> it was easy to fall for you. You're handsome, charming, and playful. But your thoughtfulness, intentionality, and determination really got me hooked. I would take care of you, provide for you, protect you. As long as you let me, and as long as I can breathe the air on this wonderful blue planet. I love you so much. Sweet. Like, got you all little three years ago. That's it. Okay. I love you. That's so sweet. 
Now, if you will turn and face your friends just a moment, okay? By the authority vested in me by AM Ministries in the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Roman. You may kiss your bride. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live? I guess. Okay, you guess. You guess. Heck yeah, heck yes. Okay. Heck yes. Okay. Courtney, will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Roland and Courtney Hawkins, husband and wife. had an instant connection and probably the closest thing I've ever seen to love at first sight. Honestly, most of us were making fun of Courtney for how silly she was acting around this Roman guy. Little did we know she had just met her future husband. I'm so glad that she met her Romeo. You've been a joy. Your family's been wonderful. You're exactly what Roman needs. And uh, speaking on behalf of all men, it's such a relief when your buddy finds a good woman. My final and most uh, thankful moment is to Courtney Reese, now Courtney Hawkins. This came out, I think, better than we could ever imagine. Everyone here means so much to us. And I know you guys have came from all over the world. Well, the United States. Um, so if everyone could please raise their glass to Mr. and Mrs. Hawkins. Space Jam, here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam, alright. 